Hey guys, thanks for joining me in this playthrough of Sunken Land, the ultimate water world survival game. Uh, this video, we're going to cover the best place to build and best starter base, you know, design for new beginners. Uh, it's basically, it's not going to be, you know, in the default location either. And let me kind of show you why. Uh, but I've been playing this for a while now and gotten, you know, pretty much to in game status already. And I've just kind of noticed a lot of things with the game and, you know, that I do over. And one of them is basically where I started building my base. And like most, you know, when you first come to this island, you kind of start out in the water over there like I just did. And most people will come to this island here, which is the Castaway Island. And it's neutral, meaning that there are no uh, bad guys or uh, mutants or bandits or anything like that on this island. And there's just resources. And so I would definitely recommend collecting all the resources that you can from this location. There's a few things over here where you can scavenge these boxes. Um, and just as a quick note, when you're first starting off, if you loot these boxes, like I just did everything, the, the box will explode like that. And this is kind of a, uh, what I'm about to show you is, uh, I don't know if it's really like a cheese. I, I kind of consider it like a half cheese, but it's good to use while starting. So as you see, I'll collect the items from this box and there's a lot of items in here and you can hit take all, but if you, as soon as you do that, this box will explode. So basically I'll just grab everything that I think is important. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really worry about uh, the bandage. Maybe you keep that, leave the duck behind. You can always come back and get it, but basically leave one item in any area that you, uh, that you collect from, because w once you like restart the game, you know, so you save and exit and then you come back, you know, through another, uh, another save and reload the game this will be filled back up with some more resources and i'm sure the devs are going to fix this you know obviously this is a uh, uh kind of a new release game and it's still being developed so it's you know pretty much early access but uh any of those type of things when you're collecting resources from boxes or even even the the cars when you're you know collecting uh, scrap metal and and just any other resource if you just just stop right before you collect everything then the next time you come in the resource will still be there so it's kind of a half cheese i'll admit and but i do use it <laughs> it's kind of helpful because resources can get uh, limited especially wood and you do start off with you know a axe here and so definitely collect as much wood as you can and and one thing that you can do is you can use that container over there that I left, you can actually use it as a chest. So as long as you don't collect everything from it, then you can use it as a chest to store items for now, which I might do uh, until we get a foundation built for our house because we're not gonna use this island. So most people will actually build on the island and, and there's a couple of issues with that. Or they'll build off of the island, and you know that's not that's not too much of a big deal or anything. I just think there's some better locations for building your your starter base. So I wouldn't recommend building directly on the island. If you think build in the water, or give yourself a little bit of distance from the island, because when attacks do come and when bandits and mutants do do uh, start attacking, they will use the island to come up to your base much easier and they can do a lot more damage kind of faster it just depends on the direction that they come from they tend to come from uh from one particular location and then it kind of rotates th around your base through various waves as far as what i noticed so see i'm coming back to this chest i'm going to put all this stuff in it that i don't need i don't need worms i don't need charcoal i don't need the mushrooms because they'll hurt you uh keep the food supply stuff because you're going to need that and the torch yeah you, you kind of need it but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Just collect as much as you can of wood so that we can start building a foundation in you know this location that I'm about to show you guys. Uh, there's a crab floating around out there, kind of strangely. Um, since this update, I've noticed that the crabs are swimming a little weird. So they're <laughs> I don't know why they're walking around like that in the water. They're basically on top of the water now. So it's kind of strange. 
they were more normal in the previous uh, build version, but you know, it's a work in progress. And overall, this game is, is just fantastic in many, many ways. It does have its little quirky bugs and stuff, but uh, the devs are super active and they are coming out with updates all the time. And it's just, it's just that just makes it 10 times better when you have uh, active devs like that that are on top of all of the things with the game. If you notice the screen turning kind of gray, that means I'm running out of my stamina. So you see how it's kind of gray like that? So just let the stamina build back up. Uh, definitely collect as many strawberries that you can. Strawberries are like the ultimate when you're first starting off. And there's just not enough sometimes. So let's get all the wood. So I'm just going to get as much wood as I can until I'm completely full. And then we're going to take a little swim. Okay, I'll show you. Oh, and then one of the things about <clears throat> building on this island and you know, it's not like a huge deal and maybe in you know uh, future updates or something this won't be such an issue but say you build over here or something and and then you save exit and come back later or a few days in the day cycle you'll notice in the top left corner you have day cycles uh, for the game so that will as it as you kind of get up on the days and you start hitting like day 20 and day 50 and day 80 and then the attacks become a lot more severe and uh, more frequent. So, uh, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. But when you come back and you've built your base here, these trees will respawn and they'll actually come back. And if you, you know, if you have a base here, they don't come back in the same location. <laughs> they will come back in various locations. And so uh, when it happens, they'll just pop up in the middle of your base and they kind of become a, a kind of a nuisance. And so, you know, you can't like you, you get stuck. So this will be in the middle of your base and you're like trying to go forward and and it's going to be in the middle of a doorway or, you know, part of your area or whatever, you know, and it's just you all, and then every time you get in, you have to chop it down. And I mean, it's good for wood, but it just starts becoming annoying. And I see a lot of people do that and then struggle and change locations or whatever because of that. So I would recommend if you're going to build, you know, near this island, just do it out in the water. Give yourself some space. Uh, don't 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 worry about uh, coming, you know, near the uh, near the um, or inland basically. All right, so we've filled up on the resources and we don't have a lot of options to build things right now. I would build a spear, but we're going to do that here in a minute. Uh, we'll put this actually, we don't need the mushroom either. So let's go put the mushroom up back here and we don't need the pine cone. So we have two more slots that we can fill up with wood. So let's do that real quick. I, I know I dumped some over here and a little there's one laying around. And we'll just run over. Your stamina is going down. So pretty much every tree here we're gonna end up collecting. So just do collect what you can. And this will get us started. Alright. I, I do uh you know you do have to kind of hold keep clicking the button to to smash all this stuff around. You don't need fishing bait. Yeah, so we just need ten more pieces of wood, but I don't think there is. Oh, there is one right here. Uh, so you have to keep clicking to chop this tree down. I kind of wish you could just hold the mouse button. So maybe they'll add that as a feature later. All right, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's brush. Let's get this. We don't need the seeds. We just want the wood. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. All the wood. Get all the wood. There, there. There's all the wood. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to swim out to the location. So like I said, a lot of people will just build right here, somewhere over here. And there are some better locations. And what we're going to look for is right here is the trading post. And I don't know if that shows up on our map, but what we want to do, I believe the trading post is, is in this area right here. And it'll kind of show up on the map as we swim out there. But there's also a, another, uh, like you see a little pole off in the distance. I don't know if that's it, but it should be like the mast of maybe like a power station. That's a good location. There's also an island over there. And the island that we're looking for, uh, what is it called? It's, uh, it's called District 43, I believe. 
And it's going to be near near this uh, trading post. And there's the trading post. So you can actually go into the trading post. There's a shark there, so he will attack you. But just keep swimming and you'll be good. We gotta get our stamina up. So you can, if you need to take a break, stop off at this trading post. And if you uh, need to, you can actually hang out here through the night. Uh, just up to you. So yeah, so here's the trading post, and this is where you can sell, you looking to and buy? Uh, yeah, so basically trade items, but they're real expensive at the beginning, and you can't really get anything in here. There's a lot of interesting stuff, but uh, I think you probably get the knife or the fishing pole, um, but you won't really need any of those. All right, so from here, there it is. Okay, so there's an island over here, and... Let's show you this other location. There is an island over here. So see these two islands? These are good. So this one uh, has a lot of resources like copper and iron, you know, some iron ore, uh, but it has some bandits on it that are kind of difficult for the beginners. And then over here, it has a lot of iron ore and trees that will regrow and it has a lot of them. So it also has lemons and lemons are like really good for, you know, uh, getting your food and stamina and energy up. And there's a whole bunch of them over there. So, and they'll continue to respawn every time you come in and out of the game. So no, no worries there. So the sun is going down. So we're just going to go ahead and go for it while the sun's going down. And I know it's going to be dark here in a second, but like I said, if you're worried about the darkness, because it will get cold here in a minute and you, our body temperature will get cold. So we want to kind of get over there fast. Yeah. So now see, we discovered district 43. So we're in the location. It's neutral. And the very first thing we're going to do is make a little plank and a ladder so that we can get up on it. And you'll see down here, there's a bunch of stuff. I know it's hard to see because I'm freezing to death. So we're just going to get near this thing. I want to get a little closer to the island over here because this is going to be our resource area. And I'm not going to get too close. All right, so right about here, come in and let's put down our f first foundation build. All right. Um, why is it not building? Oh, I'm, I'm building a chair. <laughs> why am I trying to do that? Okay. Build the foundation. All right. So let's see. Why is it not building it? There it goes. Okay. So we're just going to do this. We're going to jump up on. Usually you can jump up here. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Okay. Now, if you start to freeze, just build a ladder real quick. There it is. Just put a ladder right there. And then you can get up there. Okay. So now, come over here. Go back up. And let's just build a simple little square, semi-square foundation. And I like to kind of build it towards the... Uh, these guys. All right. Now, I think this is good for right now with what the with what materials we have, and then we want to build walls. I suggest building a door that points that way towards there, and I would do walls with windows. Where did I put the ladder? No, oh, okay, it doesn't matter. So mainly because it allows you to shoot out, you know, from the window when you start to build like your first weapon, like a crossbow. And that will be very helpful. All right. So now we will build the doorway. Just going to put one here and one there. Let's build the ladder again. We're going to put it down here. I guess we're going to have to get in the water. So I'll put it there. I'm going to put one at this end. Right there. Okay. So now we have our ladder and let's build a wooden door. All right. Is that the door? That is not the door. Build door. There we go. Cool. So now we have our first 
a little place that we can survive the night in. And if anybody attacks, uh, they can, you know, destroy some parts, but they won't be able to get up here. And we can now um, build a spear. So craft your spear, put it in your inventory slot. And then the next thing that we're going to want to focus on in a little bit will be uh, this research table. Okay. And that's going to allow us to uh, build more items and kind of unlock all the various tiers that we're going to need uh, through this playthrough. So, so like I said, this is really just, you know, for beginners. And the thing about this location, when the sun comes back up, I will show you guys. So now that the sun is coming up, we can start to go diving and it won't be cold. So as you see, so this is our base. Let's go over on this side. We're, we are looking for that little tower right there, right? And nice thing about this is it's not like too crazy deep. It's easy to uh, to get to everything. And there are a ton of resources down here. So go down. I don't think there's any sharks here or anything like that. So should be pretty safe. Uh, so we'll come down and as the sun is coming up, there will be some things over here that we can collect. So you can collect all the wood from these. And those sometimes will give you clothing as well. And then same thing with these. And watch, I'm going to almost collect everything. You can see there's a little bar at the bottom. And as I start to collect everything from these... Ooh, I got to go back up. <laughs> uh, yep, don't run out of oxygen. That's one of the tips. All right, so come up, refill our oxygen. So we'll have to... <laughs> do this a few times and then when you come back down uh, you see that little thing at the bottom showing you how much you're scavenging if you don't uh, totally scavenge everything then you can come back and get more and it won't go away otherwise these do not come back so I like to, I like to just get right up to the end of it and then we'll get this so that we can uh, get some scrap. So we have about 14 scrap, it looks like. And I believe there is a vehicle. There's also Marlin over here, which is nice. So let's look over here for some vehicles. Yeah, there's another one here. So we want the scrap right off the bat. All right, so we're not getting everything. And then there's a car. I think I need to go. Let's go get some oxygen real quick. So basically, just kind of scour this area and, you know, get as much as you can. There's a giant tractor over there, which will have like rubber and glass, but it takes a long time to, to uh, scrap it. So I wouldn't really worry about it until you get a little further along. Just get all the simple stuff right now. Because right now we, st we still don't have a lot of oxygen. Now there's a refrigerator down here too. So refrigerators and washing machines are going to be really good for cloth. So that will allow us to uh, start building the next thing. And what do we need for the... Uh, Alright, so we need some components. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can find the components which might be in one of these areas here. Yeah, let's look in this refrigerator. Uh, it's just that. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. We'll leave that there. And then here's a uh, I guess tool, tool chest. Yeah, so let's grab the components. I'm not going to grab the flare. Uh, the, the flares are okay. They light up the area, but again, they don't last forever. And, uh, you know, they just take up space. You can come back and get it later. Right now we're looking for cloth, components, metal, and I think we have enough to build. Yes, so okay. Let's go back to our base. And this base will get bigger and bigger and bigger as you expand it. So it's just a beginner base for right now. And you can convert it to uh, a variety of different metals and things. So another thing I would build right off the bat too, in case you do get attacked, and this is kind of a handy little thing here. Uh, where is it? Stairs. 
So these stairs don't snap to anything and they're kind of new to the game, but I would build them just kind of like right near a wall, you know, kind of in this area, maybe by the door, like right there. So basically, you know, if we happen to get attacked or anything, that's going to allow you to come up here and like shoot people with a crossbow. So, you know, right now we just have a spear, but we are going to get a crossbow as the next weapon. And first we need to build the research bench. So I would build this kind of like right here. And now we have research. So now we'll need to research a few things. Uh, I would research basically, you know, the crossbow first, even before you start doing armor and things like that. Uh, and then maybe storage and things, we start building some storage. Uh, you can up, you know, build a better uh, scrap spear. We will find some duct tape here in a second. We don't worry about the axe too much. You'll get better chances to make an axe. But right now we want to make rope. And so the best way to make rope is with the cloth. So we only have three cloths. So we need to go back down to our area here. I'm going to go back over here. And... We're going to get some more supplies. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here's a good place for cloth. Uh, no, is that a stove? Yeah. So the stove will have food. You don't need any of that. And then there's a washing machine somewhere too. Yeah, let's get the duct tape cloth that I'm going to leave. Well, you can't take, you can't do this. So this is a little trick. You can, you can split it and then split and then just put one of these over here but man i'm running out of oxygen <laughs> so now i need to revive a little bit that's risking it a little close so i'm gonna have some tuna or whatever that is could do this uh, herbal stuff but i'm just gonna eat some more of the tuna there and or whatever that is all right and over also another thing over here is there's sulfur so that's a good source uh, for for getting so, the sulfur uh, material for making ammo, which you'll need later for like gunpowder and stuff. So now we got some rubber. Okay, so we'll worry about that piece there. And now this is probably a good time to go build a chest. Okay, where is our base? Also, you can build a flag in your base and that'll tell you where it's at all the time so you don't sit there and waste your time looking for it. If you happen to swim kind of far. Okay, so close that. Let's go here and build a, a chest. Can we do that yet? Yeah, okay. So let's build a wooden chest and nice thing about these now is that they are stackable let's do a couple and we will put all of our supplies in there so that when we go diving uh, you know we can get as much as we we can all right and let's see let's go get some more so you want to do as much as you can while the sun's up over here and there's a washing machine right there so at the beginning of the game you know uh, cloth and rubber are oh no there's no cloth in there that's weird uh, strawberry seeds we don't need those right now so cloth and rubber are kind of a big deal so you want to get those and go back to that car finish that car because that had rubber. And definitely hold shift down. I know that uses your stamina quicker, but it will, um, let's see what else we get here. Oh, we got a little bit of cloth, a little bit of everything. Uh, you'll get there quicker holding the shift key. There's another car. 
Let's go up first. So, right when you first start, there's a lot of going up and down in the game. Kind of going to the surface and then going back underwater. But see, this is a good area. And kind of where you start at the beginning island, you know, over there, there's a lot of good stuff over there too, but it's kind of like real spread out. And so you have to, you know, it's not like in a tight area like this is. This is all in a nice area that's pretty close by. And uh, it has a lot of variety of resources. So uh, that's what makes it kind of a good spot for starting off. All right. And just sticking, the whole, sticking it out through the whole game. I mean, you can do well here and always have some type of materials that you can get to pretty easily. Especially if you don't do all this stuff. Oh yeah, there's a police car over here too. So the police cars are pretty valuable. Um, you know, not at this moment because we don't have any guns or weapons. But you'll see here, you get a lot of stuff from a police car. You get a lot of pistol ammo and glass and many other things. And then we have this container right next to it. So this will have a lot of rubber, wood, cloth, and I'm not going to worry about that because we are full. Okay, so let's go back to the top. All right, so now we need to build a bed. Keep jumping out of the water. I don't know if that does anything. Nope, that just makes your stamina go down faster. Okay. And make sure you close this door. And then we'll put... Well, let's see what we need to build here. Let's see if we can get a... Need to make a rope. Uh, let's do the cloth here. Let's see about a bed. Because if we do happen to die... Um, <laughs> we... Uh, we want to make sure we can spawn back here instead of at the island. So let's build this. I'm just going to build it right there. Now you can move all this around too. So you can build this little box here. This was not a feature uh, in the early game. Where is it? I don't know where it's at. Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. Packing box. So you can build this packing box and that'll allow you to uh, remove things and then you can build the hammer to allow you to repair things but we want to sleep and i'm not going to sleep until nighttime unless we get attacked or something but uh let's see about the crossbow now we need i think that's we have to research it so we need one rope and some components i believe do we have enough to make i think we're oh, we're one shy of the <laughs> of the cloth again so all right so let's go back out All right, so now I just got some cloth, kind of saved you guys. Uh, basically just went and um, grabbed as much supplies down in that area. We uh, found a washing machine that had six cloth in it. So if we look here, we got six out of there. And so now we can come over to the thing here and we need to craft some rope. So let's go to inventory, get the rope. And we crafted some rope. So now we have rope and now we need the little components here. So we'll put that in and oops, I'm back. And so now this is just researching this. So you have to kind of do it twice. So now we researched it. Uh, and we could also make this repair station. This is a new feature that they added because now your armor and everything uh, will have durability to it. So that's something to think about in the future. But right now we want to uh, go here and see about building the uh, crossbow. Just have to figure out where it's at. So then we need some more components. Do we have enough to do that? We do. Cool. So we have the crossbow and now we have to make uh, some 
of the bolts that go in it. So here we need crossbow bolts. We can research that. And now we can come back over here and we can build a few of those. So how many do we get? We get 20. All right, so this will keep us good for uh, base attacks now. And like I said, now we can come up and we can shoot down and get the bad guys wherever they're at. And you can actually kind of like walk along the wall because at first you're just going to have the mutants attacking you and they don't really have anything but spears and melee weapons for the most part. So, uh, so now let's do this. Uh, see, so now we have a grill. We need to build that. Let's get some metal and the grill will be used to cook our food. So let's just put this over here. I'm going to let you guys design where you want to put stuff. I'm just did a simple square that will keep us protected. Uh, you'll need to add some wood to this and then you will, you'll add your food to it. So let's see, I think I have some food over here somewhere. Oh yeah. We haven't really gotten anything. There were some, uh, let me show you these real quick. So let's get our spear and swim over here and just right by this area there are clams or mussels or something so just right over here now you could go for the marlin and stuff and we're going to do that too but i think it's right down here there are clams right in this area and these will keep spawning so you can take all of these uh, scallops i guess they they look like <laughs> they don't look like scallops i don't know uh and then let's go over here to the marlin. This will be another important step to do because this will allow you to build flippers, which will make your speed much faster for underwater. And we'll just get these. So let me kill these guys. They take about three to four wax and they kind of swim in a circle. Uh, you'll need some good stamina because you're not going to be able to chase them, but they'll swim to you. Give me one moment and I will finish killing these golf. All right, so we uh, got the last of the Marlins and you can see it's just sitting there floating. So you collect it and you get a bunch of uh, fresh meat along with the uh, skin. And see how we put that flag down so now I can see it underwater so I know, know which way to go. So we'll close the door, put our food up there. So we have those guys. And then let's see what we need for water. We need the simple purifier, so we need more wood. And let's see, how much do we need? Uh, let's count that out. So wood, tin, and then three components. So we just need the metal and we have the components. Now we can build the purifier. So we're just gonna put that right here. And then we need to make a bucket. Where is the bucket? There it is. I need more scrap and the bucket. So later you can do an automatic uh, purifier and it will make this a little easier. But for now, we have to put the bucket in our hand, open the door, hit F to fill it, then come in here and fill this thing up. So it takes five buckets. All right, so now I have uh, it full of water so we have five of five water we just need to add some wood to it and i don't have any more wood i don't think yep no more wood so it has enough to make one little thing of water and we will go get some wood in a minute but it's just in time for the sun to start going down and once that goes below the horizon then you can sleep and it'll be the next day so that's uh that's one way to kind of get through the night so let me go ahead and eat. Where's the uh, mussels? So let's put one in, get one off. And now we have a roasted mussel and we have one of these. You can eat these and they'll give you 10, but see now I get 35 plus 10 on energy. And so that really uh, helps out a lot. Now we also have the marlin skin, so we can probably do the flippers now. So the flippers need rope. So I don't think we have enough, I don't think we have enough uh, cotton, I mean uh, cloth. So we will have to go back and get that. All right, so here we are on day three. Just went ahead and uh, took a little nap through the night. Got our 
food again so we're fully stashed out on food now and we can eat a little bit of that to recover recover some health uh so sleeping does kind of like reduce your resources a little bit so you'll lose a little water a little um little food just like most survival games but you do regain some health so that's good uh all right so now let's go ahead and put these resources up uh, let's keep the wood oh uh, no keep we'll just put all this up and we have some arrows and let's see so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the island and you can see there's a bad guy sitting up there on that island right now i believe uh this is called small rock island and this one over here across the way from it so there's the uh little um trading post right there that you can trade supplies for there's also some wood over there and some trees you can go chop down which is nice and handy because it's close to here and you can just swim over there and grab that uh and then on this island there's a lot of trees and a lot of other metal resources we do need a pickaxe which i don't think i have enough wood for let's see what is the pickaxe uh, i need wood for that so we're gonna need to go cut down some of those trees and those dudes are in our way so let's go ahead and start our first fight <laughs> and let's get everything out of our inventory the coal is the most annoying thing because every time you get food or you cook something um even like when you smelt uh the metals and things they will um you always get coal and it's just annoying so here we get a little notification on that we're on small rock island if you look in your map it's highlighted red and the zero percent is basically how much of the resources you've collected so we haven't really uh collected any resources over here although we'll check this this is a good these containers are good uh, hey, we got a dress, so might as well put that on. And I'm going to leave that in there, collect all this other stuff. And we will see there's some other good resources over here. And then we're going to sneak up on this island and, and see if we can get some headshots on some bad guys. So these guys just have spears, I believe. If you aim right above their head a little bit with the crossbow, you can get a headshot. Bam. That did not get a headshot, but it was close. So he's coming after us. Let's see anybody else coming after us. Normally there's music playing that will be kind of scary music. And I don't hear it yet, so we haven't gotten close enough to them. There's another guy coming right there. We're just gonna shoot these guys from a distance. Now the developers on the last update said that they kind of fixed the pathing for the bad guys which I'm not really sure that's true because they still have a hard time finding a path to me if you're far enough away I think there's a bad guy over here on the other side so right here we can see that there's a lot of iron or ah, there's the music so we're in bad guy land these are mutants areas oh I missed Okay, so run away. Headshot. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, really work on your headshot game. That will be very helpful. Let's see if we get any loot from these guys. We've got strawberries. I'm just going to eat it now. Eat some more. Eat this thing because we need some health. And let's go find the other guys. Should be. I don't really remember. How many there are on this island? I think it's only like four or five. Might be just four. Here's the lemons. Lemons are very good. So we'll uh, get the lemons for right now. Look around over here. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, he's got a crossbow. That's not good. All right, now with the crossbow guy, where, where is he? Uh, come here. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Uh, as long as you keep jabbing him, he can't shoot. <laughs> so, that's helpful. Alright, we got some cloth out of him. 
Where did the other guy go? Killed him in the bushes and he kind of rolled down a little bit. There he is. So we have some meat. I think it's bird meat, right? Yeah, bird meat. Uh, you can cook that or you can save it to make uh, basically like a soup. And it will be the soup will like fully heal you. Okay, so this island is good because we have all this iron ore here. And this iron ore will continue to respawn over and over. And they all are very close together. So on most of the islands, the, the iron is like all over the place. And, you know, just this, these are just always right near each other. And usually there's five. So there's one, two, three. Usually one over here. But I don't see it. So sometimes there's either like four or five. There's always one that's over here for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but that's about as spread out as it gets. And we have happy music now. So that means we've killed everybody on the island. So there is about, uh, I don't remember how many, four guys, maybe five. I lost count. So a lot of times there's one over here, but he wasn't here this time. So now we can chop some trees. See all these trees, lots of trees, and they continue to grow back. And it's, it's a nice location because it has metal, uh, the, the iron ore all close together, and it has all these trees close together. So that is very handy. And it's got the lemons. So I like the lemon things. I just eat the lemons like normal, <laughs> but uh, they give you seeds, but they really give you like a little bit of everything. So they give you hunger, energy, all that. And, uh, and water. So that's kind of nice. Uh, are we full on wood? So I don't really want the seeds. I don't really care about the seeds. Uh, we can get those anytime. I'm more interested in the wood and cloth. So we just need this game. You need lots of wood all the time because you always are having to cook something or smelt something. And the only way you can do that right now is with wood. Like you would think normally you could use the coal. I think, uh, no, you need wood for the, for a uh, steel. When you get to that point, that's like a tier four item. And you still need wood for the steel to, uh, to smelt that. So it's kind of crazy. So I think they're still doing a lot of like balancing things like this with the game. Uh, but so far it's pretty good with what we got. And as you can see our wonderful skirt or whatever <laughs> that we have on took some damage. So let's close the door. And we're going to put our supplies in here. And eat one of those. Where is, uh, let's get the, that out of there and start cooking that. Now we can put some, well, uh, I forgot to go get the wood, <laughs> but we went for get the wood. So we're going to take all the wood right now and we're going to put some pieces in here and for the water. So we need some water too. Okay. So that'll give us water. And now we can see, do we have any cloth? I didn't see that we got any cloth over there. Uh, I think we have enough cloth. So let's see, cloth and marlin skin. So I'm gonna need two rope. Let's make our rope. Oh, I think I need another one. So, yeah, we need one more cloth. Let's go over here, actually. There are some resources over in this area. Look at all this stuff. Oh, I just swam into this. Get out of the car. <laughs> what in the world? That's different. a container. Oh, wow, man. 
We got a lot in this container. Uh, can't even get everything. We'll come back for that. Oh, I didn't. Even, I couldn't even get that last thing. Okay, so let's go over here and get our flippers. Now that we have the cloth, and we'll come back to that container. Let's see. Make another one of those. Get our cloth. Oh no, we need our. Uh, no, we need the rope. And the marlin skin. Okay. And now we can make our flippery things right here. So craft the flippers, put them in over there. Now we can swim faster. We have our nice skirt on. And we can put, we'll just put these in this other chest. And we'll just do that. Why is that door open? All right, let's go get the rest of those materials over here. So those are, that was some good stuff. See how fast we are now? So much faster. Oh gosh, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave that in there. And now the next thing to do is start building backpacks. So you definitely want to Try to upgrade the backpack and get to the next tier as soon as you can. So we need more rope. I think we need one rope. Let's put this, put the pants on there. I don't know if there's a, yeah, it has armor three and the skirt. Let's see, what was the skirt? Armor one. So we'll put that in there for later. <laughs> Maybe we can sell it or something, I don't know. Uh, and then we have the mask we'll put over there. And I'll put the rubber in here, the coal, that, put our strawberries and stuff there. Keep cooking our food. Let's go get the rest of that. I'm surprised we haven't been attacked yet. That's kind of odd. So normally we would have been attacked at least once, I think. It may not start happening until later. So we're going to leave that scrap in. And let's get this right here. Let's see, can we get anything over here? You can't get those turtles. There are some more scallops over here that we can get. These will keep coming back. So that's nice. And let's get this. Oh, I got all of it actually that time. So. That's not coming back, but that's okay. Okay, so we have a blueprints for a boat and wallpaper. Now, when we go to build, we have a boat. This is not a very useful boat though. You'll definitely want to stick with the sailboat uh, for a good portion of the game. And then you come over here to uh, this area here and then we can start, you know, getting like some, f uh, making a fish thing if we wanted to, which will catch uh, fish for us on a regular basis. And, and that's pretty handy. I usually have at least one or two of those sticking around uh, and you can build some simple armor if you want to, but generally you'll end up getting blueprints to build um, better armor uh, coming up. So. Next thing to do is work on this next tier. So it looks like you need 15, 15, 15, and 10. And so we need 15, 15, 15. Was it 10 of these? I only have six, I think. So let's see, go to the next tier. Yeah, so we need 10 of those components. So what I like to do is just take all those and put them, uh, what we're going to need for the next tier. So we'll put these guys here. And then now I know if I get 10 more there, then, uh, we'll, uh, get that upgraded soon. So that was in the components. All right, let's see, can we do the pickaxe? We can. 
So this will be the next thing to get. So you do your pickaxe here. And I'm not going to worry about the water bucket thing. Put that over there. Get some water. And now we can swim back to this island. And because we cleared it out, they will not, uh, mutants will not come back. And we can use our pickaxe to mine the ore stuff. So this isn't super important right now. Uh, just because we don't have the smelter, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, I was going to chop down a couple more trees. The next stuff is going to require uh, getting to the tier two and then going over to this other island over here. So I can show you that once I pop up in this thing. So if we go over here, so we have the trading post there and then right across from this island. So this is the small rock island where we can get lots of iron ore. And then over there, there's like a police car and a lot of good resources, but the bad guys have guns and crossbows and things like that. So you have to be careful uh, on that one. That one's a little bit harder of an island. So kind of want to get to tier two and start building some better weapons uh, and start dealing with the bandits um, when they attack our base. So anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end it there and you guys let me know what you think uh, about this little uh, beginners montage of base building and this particular location what you think about it and uh, and I think it's pretty good for starting off a pretty decent base with a lot of uh, supplies and materials and components and things like that so we're in good shape here and we can pretty much get to anything. So like I said, if we have a base attack, we can shoot it with the crossbow. We can just walk around. You can put a floor on top of here. You can do whatever you want. I mean, it just, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then once uh, you get more metal from, you know, mining the rocks over there, then you can start smelting that down uh, and you can start converting all of this uh, to to uh, more reinforced walls and floors and things like that because first you know you want to definitely reinforce your floor so I'll probably come back and do a video on the uh, next steps of reinforcing your base and making sure it's good uh, from you know the bandits and from base attacks and things like that so uh, so with that I guess I'll uh, see you guys in the uh, the next video